Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Tuesday, June 21st. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, everyone. I'm Derek Shore. Glad to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, she is the star of arguably one of the biggest shows on the planet. Actress Priya Ferguson, Priya Ferguson from Netflix's Stranger Things, joins us in studio. Find out the big reason why she's come to town. I'm so excited to have a chat with her and also excited for this. She's an original member of Destiny's Child, but Latoya Luckett is going solo on her next big project, and she's joining us live in studio yeah, as well. Th that project looks very, very good. Also, a Houston Life exclusive this year's Fort Bend County Fair and Rodeo Entertainment lineup will be revealed live on today's show. And Lauren Kelly is down on the island in one of our favorite summer spots. Ooh, Lauren, are you in a, what are you doing? You laying out? Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 pardon I'm so me. Sorry. I, forgot that I, was actually, <laughs> I, I forgot that I was actually working today. Yes, Courtney, you said it. One of our favorite spots right here on the island, Moody Gardens. It's the perfect place to chill out while it's super hot outside. We've got all the fun details on how you and the entire family can come hang out, even in one of these lovely cabanas all summer long. That's coming up on Houston Life this afternoon. Pardon life, me. Life is rough, Lauren oh, Kelly. It does look good. <laughs> and later we got to find out what's uh, what's in that cup. Well, speaking <laughs> of the heat and the sunshine, how about a check of today's forecast? That is right. We heard the rain moving in over here on the Southwest Freeway, Frank. Yeah, a few folks got some good rains. Uh, LaPorte got about a half an inch, more than an inch in Cypress. So some sea breeze showers have moved in. And there's still a chance between now and 6 o'clock. You could see something. Here's like your radar right now. You see a spot here and there of a shower. There you go. Not a lot, but you know what? We'll take what we can get. And there's more out in the Gulf. I don't think we're going to see a lot of that this evening, but it tells me there's some moisture that could rev up again tomorrow. We'll check that forecast coming up. We could use it. Temperatures 95, 96, 97. The showers in the associated cloud cover have actually helped a lot today in terms of actual temperatures, but the feels like numbers are still right there at 99, 104, 105, 107. Down there at Moody Gardens right now is the way it feels. Somebody needs a margarita. Just like Lauren Kelly did in that cabana, <laughs> for sure. All right, Frank, we'll see you in just a bit. Do appreciate the update. You know, you look at that weather map and you think, gosh, those must be typos. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Triple digits, right? <laughs> hey, so we had a fantastic time down in Galveston oh, celebrating Juneteenth. So we great. hope you all caught our special, met some lovely people, and man, it was hot indeed. It, it was hot, but it was so beautifully done. We uh, got a chance to go into the NIA Center, of course, the Emancipation Trail, all of the things, and it was so fantastic. Love meeting all of our our viewers out there and getting messages of people experiencing all of that as well. Yeah, so much history down there. I knew that, but I didn't quite know yeah. all of what we know now that we've done the special. So mark your calendars and do that Emancipation Trail, as Courtney mentioned. It's lovely. For sure. Download that app as well. Okay, so off the heels of our holiday weekend, of course, this was Father's Day weekend as well, and we had a great time. We headed out to the Astros game playing the White Sox. You know, we went on Saturday. Wasn't such a great outcome for the Astros on that game. Okay. But listen, we had so much fun. Look, anytime these two want to go or three want to go to an Astros game, we're all in. We had so much fun and uh, stayed to the bitter end, of course. But uh, on Friday night, though, AJ, my drummer, yeah. we took him to the Houston Symphony for their pop series awesome. to see and hear the music of his favorite band, Led Zeppelin. So while Orlando was um, relaxing in the pool on Sunday, I took AJ to Gu Guitar Center. Y yeah. He saved up his money. Okay. And guess what we had to buy? Well, he bought with his own money. A new drum set. Not quite the new drum set, but he bought the tambourine for the hi-hat. Oh, good. Because he wants to learn how to play Moby Dick. So it's a very big drum solo. It's like he dropped the sticks in the minutes, like 12 or 15 minutes long. Not quite there, but he's getting there. That's great. He should practice out back by the pool while Orlando is relaxing. I, well, we, he's in the garage, so he's got a fan. You know, it's a thing. All the neighbors have, have now witnessed his progression wow. since Christmas. Wow. <laughs> he's real good, though. How was your weekend? I'm sure it was good, busy time. Friday night, you know Lily Jang, our friend, and her fiance Julian, they hosted this little wine tasting at their home. It was great. Um, and this uh, family on the screen, you, you may recognize, this photo was taken at the Manil Collection. Father's Day is extra special for us now because I've never shared this uh, publicly with our viewers, but years and years ago, two of my best friends in LA, they said, hey, we wanna start a family, but we need a donor. They couldn't get pregnant on their own. And they they asked me to do it 
And of course I said yes. So fast forward <laughs> and this is our modern family. Two moms, two dads. If the kids look like me, there's a reason for that. <laughs> Jasper, Beautiful. Atlas, that's a typical day at home. We see them as often as we can. This was at Herman Park when they were here a couple months ago. You've, you've met them and they're such sweet, incredible kids. And uh, yeah, we couldn't be more happy and proud of our little family. And blessed, and it's such a great story, and I'm so glad you're sharing. I got a chance to meet them all, and they are so lovely, and I think it's it's fantastic. They're I super love it. cool. They're well-rounded, surrounded by a lot of love. And you know, my mom, after Christmas, we took my mom down to hang out with the kids, and it's just been, it's just been a really nice time. But over Father's Day weekend, though, Atlas discovered something really cool in the backyard. All these drinking fountains are out there. Oh, just like Oscar. It's really incredible yes. <laughs> because no matter where he is, there is a fountain nearby. And he's Very not convenient. <laughs> he's not going to blow his top off. <laughs> he's not shy. Oh, I mean, look. This doesn't warm your heart. I don't know what does. Yes. So, yeah, little man. He's 14 months old oh. now, just about 14 months old, and just started walking about a month ago. It's so. so awesome. It's the little things in life, finding the water fountain in the grass. I know, right? I love it. Who knew we had those all these years? All these years. Darn it. And I was searching for a cup all these years. <laughs> I could have just gone right down there. Why use a cup? Why? It's better for the Wait, planet. It drinks straight out of the fountain. That was the best video. That feel good video for sure. Okay, guys, have you heard our friend Garth Brooks recently announced a Houston show coming to NRG Stadium Saturday? It'll be my birthday weekend. Thank you, Garth. Right. August 6th. <laughs> <laughs> Love how you plan that. Yeah. Um, tickets do go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster, and the country superstar has a special special message for Houston fans on why he's ending his tour here and why that means so much. Uh, the thing I love about poetic justice is things that just make sense. We had the courage to go after stadiums after playing the, the Houston Livestock Rodeo there and uh, even mimic the star stage that they put out for us to start the tour in Notre Dame. Three years later, we're ending the stadium tour in Houston. I'm so proud of this. It's going to come full circle. Couldn't think of a better place to start it and finish it. I can't wait, Houston. Thank you, Garth. I think they edited out the Courtney birthday weekend thing, but we do yeah. need to upgrade his hat. Apparently, like we need to get him an Astros hat. Yeah, we can work yeah, on that. We're gonna and get that. Also, Garth has been a friend of the show for a long time. Yes. From the OG Houston Life beginning days. Maybe some of our viewers remember this back when our show was in the mall. Uh huh. And Stephanie Gary was the only Houston reporter. Yeah. To interview him while he was here. Yeah. Yeah, so she's known Garth now for years. Steph Gary, if you could like help with Can the birthday help us hookup, out, that would be good. <laughs> well, that's really cool. And and I'm glad to see Garth coming back when, uh, I mean, obviously, Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is the time we expect to see some of our tried and true favorite performers. But the fact that he's doing a regular concert uh, and in such a massive space, it's great. It is great. Courtney birthday weekend, too. Courtney Thanks, birthday. Garth. Her birthday's August 9th, in case viewers are wondering. <laughs> okay, so um, I found something that it, it, I actually did a story about this years ago, but this is a thing. I'm scared. So French researchers think they may have found a unique natural alternative to chemical fertilizers. You know, there's all this talk about like fertilizers, and, like what you put in your body is very important, right? Yes. Like we have a little herb garden at home and we always get the organic soil because, you know, you put chemicals on the plant and then you eat it. That's not good, right? Right. So guess what scientists have found as a substitute for these chemical fertilizers? I don't know. My Human nose. urine. What? Yes. Urine. Like you're, we're, Since urine is not normally a, a major then... carrier of disease, it does not require heavy processing for use in agriculture. So it reduces environmental pollution. Right. It can help. I mean, your urine has minerals in it that could help the crop. Why are you looking I'm at just me? envisioning what's happening. I'm envisioning. Are you, you're going to, did you do you have video or something? Do we, what's going on? What kind of video? I don't know. Are you saying you do this? No. Okay. I am not. Would you? Except maybe in some friends' backyards when, you know, I don't want to run inside from the pool. Easier for the boys. I think that's okay but to do, though. Would you do that at home? Like, are you going to pee in a jar and then <laughs> sprinkle it on the little herb garden? No, I don't think so. But would you, like, would you be ready to eat crops grown from 
fertilize. Crops pants. <laughs> <laughs> Not cropped pants. Guys, y'all think this is a joke. No, this is I real. know, and I'm, I'm, I am Years kidding. ago, I did a story in Los Angeles about how L.A., when you flush the toilet and all of You the, followed it, didn't you? You, I followed the trail of what happens when you flush the toilet. It was fascinating. Because imagine big, you know, big cities have a lot of excrement. Well, it's got to go somewhere. Well, what do you think that pile of stuff is behind it's me? It's poop. It is actual human waste that is yeah. used on farms to fertilize crops in Bakersfield, California. It's been this huge controversy. Bakersfield has been suing LA and all of that. But the whole idea is cattle then feed from that land, but then people, if you are a meat eater, so there's the controversy like, is, is this actually safe to? Can we get this? back to the urine though? Because like if you're using, uh, does it, does our urine have to be processed again? No, it doesn't have to no. be. Because it, the scientists have found, and I am not a scientist, that because it's, urine is typically sterile. Right, well don't the astronauts on the space station, aren't they, isn't there something with? The I think there's a way that they probably clean the water. They do something. Yes, because it is much easier to clean, you know, liquids than it is solids. Anyway, we can move along now. I just thought I it was fascinating. It, I think it's fascinating. And why, especially during times of drought all over the planet, Listen. people are worried about the future, right? Or at least we should be right. for our, our children. Goodness. Okay. Well, listen, we've got another feel-good story. You shared Atlas and the fountain, and we've got urine. I don't know. Well, now it's time for our feel-good follow-up. Remember the story of the South Texas toddler who went viral after ordering 31 cheeseburgers from DoorDash on his mom's phone? This kid's my hero. Right? True yeah. hero here. Well, McDonald's sent family t-shirts for everyone and 31 cheeseburger coupons. Because you remember when she got the, the cheeseburger, she was thinking people had to come. Out. She gave them out, yeah. right? So they gave the coupon. And you know what? So much to be said for a handwritten Note, check oh. your screen. They wanted to make sure that the family doesn't forget how the Barrett's accidental order made, quote, the whole world smile. Oh. So they got the coupons, they got some swag, such cute stuff. Do you think Ronald uh, wrote that note personally? I'm sure. Ronald, Mr. McDonald? Could have been the Hamburglar because that's who took the picture. Oh, it could have been the yeah. Hamburglar. He has good penmanship. Very nice. Well, but there's no nothing better than a handwritten note. And 31 cheeseburgers, right? And 31 cheeseburger Hopefully coupons. They can pay it forward with those coupons. All right, speaking of burgers, today is the very last day to vote in our burger bracket. As always, we love hearing from you. This time, we've been asking, who has the best burger in town? We've teamed up with Carbock Brewing Company for this month's Viewer's Choice Bracket Challenge. Check out clicktohouston.com slash contest and vote for your top spot today. Voting does close at 4 p.m. and the winner will be featured right here on Houston life coming up on Friday. Do you know what I would put into the mix there? Go to Barnaby's and get the Impossible Burger Ooh. with cheddar cheese. Okay. That's my pick. There Just you putting go. that out there. You can't vote though, but that's his pick. That's my pick. Still to come from the white sand beaches to the lazy river and wave pool. Lauren Kelly is showing off how Moody Gardens Palm Beach is truly the perfect splashy summer escape for the whole family. Yep. And <laughs> there she is. Also from Destiny's Child to a brand new reality series, LaToya Luckett is getting personal about relationships and her life here in Houston. She will join us when Houston Life returns right after this. Welcome back to Houston Life. It's time now for H-Town Sit Down. Let's meet today's guest. Men, so we gotta start there. Houston born and raised LaToya Luckett shot to fame as a founding member of Destiny's Child. She won two Grammy Awards with the group. After parting ways, she released a solo album which went platinum. Now she's starting a new project that puts a spotlight on her personal relationships, her life as a mom, and how she's moving on post-divorce with faith and positivity. LaToya Luckett is today's guest for our H-Town sit-down. Come on out, LaToya. Here she is, gorgeous. Hi. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for coming in. Sorry about the platform here. No, you look fine. gorgeous. Thank you. And this is our first time meeting. I yes. gotta tell you, looking through this video of your show, it <laughs> looks like a lot of fun, but also you put it all out there. I did. I am still kind of like, as I watch the episodes, I'm like, oh, wow, you were really running your mouth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's 
that's why people love you. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because you're you're just so real. Thank you. Thank and I love the first episode. You just go with the X. You go right right I in. I know. And I was so nervous about that. I was so nervous about that because you know we were together over a decade, and um, we hadn't had a lot of communication. So I didn't know you know, how he was going to take to the questions or how the chemistry was going to be. Was it still going to be there? Um, but <laughs> watching it now, I was like, we were getting a little, like some little middle school kids. <laughs> like we, yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I actually, one of my first times um, asking him to do the show um, and us being together was for the Houston Rodeo. Right. Um, we performed together. So that was our first time having some real interaction. And I was like, okay, this is going cool so maybe he'll be okay with doing the show and I asked him and he was like absolutely wow see yeah. a lot of people might think it's a difficult ask by the way most of our viewers know him as slim thug yeah he's uh, big slim now big slim yeah, is his big name slim now, now. Uh, he, he's been on our show before he's oh, a friend awesome. of Houston life and yes. was that for you I mean it, was it difficult to reconcile like wow this is my ex we're telling stories about our life and our relationship yeah, together right. and also the fact that you got along so well yeah yeah, it's how do you reconcile that? Um, it is it's it's really cool, man. I think we're both just taking it one day at a time. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like we're pressured to feel like, oh God, we need to be together again. Although everyone in the comments seems to think <laughs> that I should circle the block. Um, but it's you know, it's he's a really cool guy. Um, the cool thing is we have always been friends. That's great. And that foundation, yeah, um, has made it such that we can you know, come on and do something fun, like a, a live conversation in front of millions of people. Um, but it's, yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, it's something to be said there. We'll have to wait and see, you yeah. know, how it yeah. how it plays out. Yeah. I was reading something about you, LaToya, that in the beginning when you were uh, thinking about singing and, and your career, yeah. originally you wanted to study opera? Was that your... So I went to HSPVA. Yeah. Yes, I went to HSPVA. For those of you that don't know, first of all, it's the school that has the long bumper sticker. Right, the black and white bumper, bumper yes. sticker. Um, and a lot of, you know, the songs that we would learn um, were opera songs. Um, and I was just kind of like, wow, I didn't, first of all, know my voice could do this. Or, you know, I, that's where I learned that I was a soprano. Um, and just learning different techniques, it, it definitely struck my interest. Um, and, you know, I, I haven't leaned into it yet, but uh, I do feel like there is um, a bit of, cu I'm, I'm curious. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we can I see can. you on the, the Houston Grand Opera stage. Oh my stage. gosh, wow. Can we call in some favors? <laughs> We need to call in some favors I think we there. might be able to make that happen. Really? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? I probably have to go back to HSPVA. <laughs> or I don't think so, girl. Other... <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, opera isn't easy. It's not. Oh, my God. It's all about technique. And, and breathing. To, and breathing. You have to protect your voice and just all of these. It looks so easy when you, you know, you go and watch these amazing uh, entertainers and you're like, wow, they hit this note and the way they controlled their vibrato and all those things, but that is not easy at all. No. So shout out to all the opera singers out there showing you guys love. Oof, kudos to you. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm sticking to R&B for right now. Um, and I know everybody keeps asking me, are you coming out with new music? What you got going on? You're doing the acting thing, but are we going to get an album? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> we're well, we're we hope on the go right now. When right, that happens, you got to come back on Houston Life to perform. Before we let you go, though, uh, let's talk about the show. Because yes. when this first dropped, um, you drop new episodes every Tuesday, is yes, that right? Yes, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. We just dropped today. Brand new episode. Episode 2 is available right now. It's um, We're talking about mom guilt this week, which uh -huh. I, am, I am going to, for the first time, not cry when I speak about it. We're going to put bets on that. Um, but I, with being an entertainer and traveling all the time, um, which is the life that I've known since I was 13 years yeah. old, uh, you don't realize how it, you know, at times will take you away from your kids. Yeah. Um, and I have little babies, 20 months and three. And you don't want to miss a moment. You, I mean, 
they're just developing so fast and the, the time is fleeting. You're just like, ugh. Um, but the, the wonderful part is my mom is with me all the time. They travel with me. They come to set with me. They're in the studio with me. But it just, it's like I can't get enough of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I still at times feel like, am I doing enough? Am I missing the mark at being a mom sometimes? And so I felt that it was important to have a conversation like that because there are so many working moms and dads um, who sometimes feel like they're not doing enough. Um, and they have that mommy, I can say mommy guilt, I'm sure there's daddy guilt out there too, um, not leaving the fathers out, but from my experience, I'm talking about mommy, mommy guilt this week. It's it's a lot to carry for sure, oh, and my. it never ends, it really doesn't. Really? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I feel like <laughs> you get to a place, I know, you get to a place, because you're always, you always have that question, am I momming or dadding enough? enough. Yes. You know, and, and in the moment when you're, you're, your children are young, you know, it feels like it's never going to, you're never going to get out of those stages. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden your oldest is about to drive and you think, Whoa. I remember when you were barely walking. Yes. And so it just, everything just passes you by so quickly. But um, just keep doing what you're doing, girl. Your kids are real proud of you. I am. They are. I am. They make everything worth it. They do. Everything worth it. So. And we love, LaToya, that you made time for us today oh, on Houston Life. By the go. way, that first episode, 750,000 views yes. within the first week. It's okay. You can yes. give a round of applause yes. for that. That's a big accomplishment. Thank Gorgeous you. inside and out. Please come back. I We're going to work on that Houston Grand Opera. We will. Oh, my God. In the meantime, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There we go. Perfect. Click the link in my bio on the Instagram, at LaToya Luck, and that's L-E-T-O-Y-A-L-U-C-K-E-T-T. -T. We'll do that, and then maybe we'll think about opera. Okay. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for being here. Do Thank appreciate you for having it. me. Of Thanks course. So I really appreciate it, guys. Well, still ahead, she is a fan favorite on Netflix, Global Sensation, Stranger Things. Actress Priya Ferguson joins us to reveal where Fans can see her tomorrow right here in Houston. She's going to be in action, too. And coming up next on Houston Life, what's your style? Modern, antique, the list goes on and on. We've got the best ways to style your home for either trend. Houston Life will be right back. What's your style? Contemporary, vintage, mid-century, antique. There are so many different styles you can incorporate into your home, but how do you choose? Here to help us uncover which style sensibility is best for each one of us, Maria Sotolongo, our friend, back with Hi. your floor samples. Yeah. It's great to see you. Good to see you. And today we're talking about modern or contemporary spaces versus the old school vintage or antique space. Yes. And your flooring can really set the stage for whichever style or combination of styles you've Chosen. Right. It really is kind of the canvas with which you're going to get started and give that whole feeling to your home. So again, do you like more modern or antique? I think I know. What do you what do you like more? I would describe us as a more contemporary home. <laughs> Clean, monochromatic. Yes. But I mean, the, the thing about design is there really are no hard and fast rules, right? Exactly. I mean, nowadays, really anything goes. It used to be in our parents and grandparents days, nothing wrong with them, but it was just one way. Everybody's home was more of that classic look. Now you can have have wood look tile and you can have you know wood that looks like bamboo and then you can have the real bamboo so right here in front of us we've got some of the samples for example that we can see would be more modern and that is one of the things that the clean and the slick kind of feel to these that I have right here in front of me this is bamboo and as I was saying it, it is one of the many options that 50 floor is going to offer and we've got different looks but also different colors different uh, plank sizes but that smoothness to it is also what makes it more a kind of modern and just a slick look to it right like very few lines to it whereas if we have something more textured more rich uh, to it it feels a little bit more maybe antique and uh, rustic as well right so those are some general rules of thumb yes. that that clean lines very smooth yes. maybe leans a little bit more modern contemporary right. you also have some tile samples here that are a exactly. good example of that someone may have like an antique space at home where they want 
not a textured sort of old school mm -hmm. looking tile, almost like they live in a right. castle. Yes. <laughs> but if you had a contemporary space, you also might want something that's clean and smooth. You got it. I mean, again, now we really have so many different options to choose from with new technology and it can be overwhelming. So that's why 50 floor is home improvement done right. We're going to come to your home, show you all of these, not just in this small uh, kind of uh, size, but we will have the actual big tiles as well. You can kind of tug them around your home and see what looks best in whichever space you would like. And again, whether it is antique or uh, more of that modern feel, we are going to walk with you every step of the way. Swapping out the flooring for a lot of people might seem really sort of overwhelming. You oh, walk yes. on your flooring every day. You use it all the time, <laughs> right? Right. But somehow, 50 floor, you're able to do it in most cases just one day? I mean, right. You can't get better than that. We're going to come in and change your floor in one day. What? And you don't have to move anything? What? That's right. I mean, Derek, we're going to come in and do that for you. Whatever style you want, we're going to make sure that you get what you like. And again, at the comfort of your your own home. So we don't have to move the furniture out of the way before you get there? <laughs> and no, right? Some people are amazed that we are going to do that for you. Our experts will come in, help you pick it out. Then our installers come in, move all that furniture for you, and then remove that old flooring, inspect the subflooring, put down that new beautiful whatever floor you've chosen, and voila, in one day, usually you can get new floors. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be a headache. And right. I think the advantage of seeing these samples in in your own space oh, with yes. your own stuff and lighting, I think that's huge and they're it beautiful. It makes a difference, right? So there make sure that you do log online, call us, we'll come for a free consultation and we also have all kinds of other tips and tricks to share with you. And if you have uh, inspiration photos that you've saved on your phone, you can show them there to you your go. designer and they can hook you up, help you find a space that looks like that photo. Maria Got Sotolongo, it. thanks for coming by Houston Life. Thank you. All month long, 50 Floor has a special offer for Houston Life viewers. 60% off installation on all carpet, hardwood, laminate, and vinyl. Just call 877-50-FLOOR, 877-503-5667, or you can visit 50floor.com. Now let's send things over to Courtney. All right, Derek, thanks so much. Still ahead, it is the first official day of summer. Lauren Kelly found a great place for your family to cool off and chill out. And from a Grammy award winning group to a Texas country male vocalist of the year, only on Houston Life, we're moments away from revealing the entertainment lineup for this year's Fort Bend County Fair. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life on this Tuesday. Courtney and Derek back with you just about 3.30. Yeah, glad to have you with us as always. Why don't we check in with Christine, Daniela, and Frank for a look at what they have coming up on the news at 4 o'clock. Hi, friends. Hello, hey, Happy friends. Tuesday. How are you? Okay, so we were just talking a little bit about how we saw you saw some rain showers. I got on, caught in some of it. I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> You're like, what is this falling from the sky? I know we've been needing the rain, Frank. Yeah, you know, a little sea breeze shower never hurts, that's for sure. And still have a few out there, although you can see a lot of sunshine has returned. So temperatures have recovered pretty well, although not a lot of hundreds. Feels like 100, 105 in Sugarland, 107 in Galveston with mid, and some upper 90s, 96, 97 in Huntsville right now. So still be careful. We don't have a lot of hundreds to talk about, and I think we're going to get away with with just the upper 90s for the rest of the afternoon. 97 at 4, 95, 94, 91. Treat lady like a lady. Make sure that your, all your pets are well hydrated. Here are these showers that popped up. I know LaPorte picked up about a half an inch of rain. Same over toward Hobby, uh, Sims Bayou, six tenths in Cypress. I got a report of more than an inch. So if you had a good cooling shower, good for you. Everybody needs it. That's for sure. There's more moisture in the Gulf. We'll track that coming up at 4. There is at least a little chance for a shower as we move into tomorrow. That's why I'm going to keep it at 99, but then after that, that high really builds in. So we're in for a hot weekend, but then hopefully a little relief for temperatures and rain as we move into Monday, Tuesday. So weird that 94 degrees is relief, but oh. it's all it's all relative. We'll yeah. take whatever we can get, yeah. right, Frank? Thank you. And here's a look at some of the stories we're working on this afternoon. Yeah, first the tragedy in Uvalde is taking center stage at a hearing in Austin. The head of Texas DPS says officers were inside a Robb Elementary and could have confronted the gunman three minutes after that shooting started, but did not. 
19 students and two teachers died in that massacre. KPRC2 investigative reporter Robert Arnold is in Austin for those hearings and will have a live report for us at 4 o'clock. Plus, the city of Houston asking residents to conserve water because of the drought we're currently in. We're going to run down the list of what exactly they're asking you to do and how much it could help save water. Also at 4 o'clock, here's a question for you. Who's responsible for tree branch damage if the tree is not in your yard? Investigator Amy Davis takes a look at that dilemma and more in her Ask Amy report. So a lot to cover today at 4 o'clock, you two. All right, guys, we will see you at the top of the hour. Thanks so much. Bye. Well, it's a local tradition and one of the best opportunities to catch some great live music in our area. We're talking about the Fort Bend County Fair and Rodeo, and today we're hearing how they're unveiling their 2022 entertainment lineup. Joining us now, Jennifer Williams and Barbara Magania Robertson with the big reveal. Ladies, welcome back. Great to see you both. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's great to be here, and we are excited to be able to reveal it here on Houston Live. I'm so excited. Okay, for everybody marking their calendars, the fair starts September 23rd and runs through October the 2nd. Okay, so it's a this is always such a crowd pleaser. Um, let's first talk about what we can before we reveal who's all coming and what the lineup is. Um, this is a wide, basically, genre of music that we're going to see, right? I think Absolutely. you said it best. I mean, there's Grammy Award winners. There's some AMC duo coming out. It's going to be, a, we have some that are returning artists, and then we have some that are making their debuts. So it's going to be a good time. Something that is something everybody will love. Okay, so here's breaking news right now. We do have a message from one of the artists taking the stage during the fair's first weekend. Hey, hey, Houston Live, Kevin Fowler here, and I'm fired up to be coming back to the Fort Bend County Fair and Rodeo Saturday, September the 24th. Y'all come celebrate the 86th annual Fort Bend County Fair with me and my band. That's right, Saturday, September the 24th. Y'all come on, we will see you there. You got to listen, Kevin Fowler. I know you guys are really excited. This is such a great announcement. Of course, he has five studio albums and a, a num number of Billboard Hot Country Song Chart member. If I can call him a member of that, he's constantly on that list. Mm -hmm. He's the icon of Texas music, and we're so fortunate that he's coming back for his fifth appearance at the Fort Bend County Fair. That is so awesome. I can tell he's very excited too. Uh, it's always a good time hearing his music, right? He's a great time. I mean, he brings the party, and every year I think that's why he's com he comes back so many times to our fair because the crowd just loves him. They do, and he is known as that honky tonker. He'll be performing, and then let's all figure out what the rest of the lineup is. Yes, yeah, so starting our lineup will be Giovanni and the Hired Guns. That's on September the 23rd, followed by Mr. Fowler. Um, and then we have our Latin Day, um, and Grupo Secreto is going to be our Latin performer. Um, and then for the first time in several years, we will have a Wednesday night performance with Carson Jeffrey. Followed by the next night will be a John Stork, who's been a favorite on Houston Life. Um, and also continued um, throughout the week, we will have Shenandoah, um, followed by Sammy Kershaw. And last but not least, the Bellamy Brothers. It's such a great lineup, and thank you so much for coming here to uh, release the lineup. Absolutely, you know we are so excited. We do 1.4 million dollars worth of scholarships and through the auction. So we have the Junior Livestock Auction, the Art Auction, and different ways that people can support the kids. But with this entertainment lineup, um, we're hoping that we're giving back to the community, and we're ready to have a fair, a 10-day fair run. It, you know what? Everybody loves this fair, um, and we can expect a kickoff parade, the rodeo auction every night, livestock shows, carnival rides, wine room, Derek, and a fair food to enjoy. And that wine room this year, they're bringing it. They have uh, like a quiz night, they have a bingo night, but with that lineup that we just announced that Jennifer was able to announce for us, we had a board working very hard to bring that uh, yeah. type of caliber of artists at end. And that second weekend, it's like 90s we live. So, you know, come right. on out and uh, we can introduce it to the ones that haven't heard them or bring out and have some good memories made. That is so true. Ladies, thanks so much for coming in. Tickets are available. Actually, because we're revealing it right now, it, they will be on sale at FortBendCountyFair.com at 4 p.m. today. The office staff is ready to, to uh, you know, make those, uh, go ahead and make those purchases. Can't wait. Ladies, thanks so much. Can't wait for the, it's going to be here before we know it. Yes. Great lineup as well. And a cooler temperatures, hopefully. Girl, let's hope so. <laughs> All right. We, if you would like more information, again, we've shared that link on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, 4 p.m., when you can start buying those tickets. Still to come, a fan favorite on Netflix, Stranger Things, is in Houston, and that means, of course, you 
you to stop by our set of Houston Life. We're catching up with Priya Ferguson coming up. Now let's check in with Lauren Kelly at Moody Gardens. She's got the tough assignment today. Hey, girl. You guys know I had to take my shoes off and get in this water to cool down right here. Palm Beach at Moody Gardens is the perfect place for the entire family to come for the whole summer. And we're cooling off. I'm telling you all the great deals on how you can cool off with the family when Houston Life returns. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but Moody Gardens actually has a beautiful beach with white sand and blue water. It's Palm Beach, and it's definitely a spot that you want to bring the family out to all summer long here at Moody Gardens, straight down I-45. One of our great friends of the show, marketing director here for Moody Gardens, this is Jerry Hamachek. I love that we're finally here. It's finally summer, and Palm Beach is open and in full effect. Right? Everybody's having a blast. We have our feet waiting in the water. It's perfect. Yeah, Frank Billingsley <laughs> said it was hot here. It absolutely Absolutely is hot. We had to stand over here so we wouldn't burn our toes. For people who have not been over here, this is a full water park experience Moody Gardens has for its guests. Yeah, you know, and what's great about it is it's great for all ages. So we've got our lazy river, tower slides, wave pools. We've got the splash pads, so the little ones, teens, everybody in between. And then on Saturday nights, we do our uh, Beats on the Beach event. We have a DJ out here on Saturday nights. So I bet that it transforms into like its own little nightclub. Right. And fireworks, too. We have fireworks every Saturday night, so you can enjoy that out at Palm Beach, or you can go over to the hotel on our ninth floor. we got a great view up there at Shern's Lounge. Um, insurance fine dining restaurant that's on the ninth floor of the hotel. So we've got great options over Speaking there. Speaking of the hotel, Jerry, you can't come down to Moody Gardens and not stay the weekend. They've got some great packages happening now. We do. We've got great hotel packages that are bundled with the attractions tickets. So you can enjoy that. Get a discount on the admission for the attractions tickets while you're at it. We also have uh, golf course packages with the hotel, spa packages. So whatever appeals to you, you can go ahead and do that. Let's, let's walk over to our personal cabana that you reserve for us, Jerry. Not only can you hang out in the water, you can get the sun. Maybe you need some shade after being in the sun for a little bit too long. Have some beverages and some food over here. But there's also something really cool, a big secret that you're going to tell our viewers coming later on this year. Yes, that's we've got a little tub. That looks like an ice tub, Jerry. It is, and we know that you're game for anything, <laughs> so we challenge you to step in the ice. Why the ice, though? Tell me why the ice. Iceland is coming back for the holiday season. So and if our viewers don't remember, it has been post uh, pre pandemic since this has been here, right? Yes. So it's a super big deal. Our guests have been asking for it for the last two holiday seasons, and we're so excited to be able to bring it back. So that's just a little tease. We'll have more on our website, including tickets, hotel packages, all of that starting July 1st. Okay. I think I've worked up enough courage and I am warm enough to now step in this. I didn't know I was getting an ice bath today, but I'm totally willing. <laughs> to do it. All right, let's go on over here. They got the chair for me just in case I collapse. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cold. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> but it feels oddly good and refreshing. I literally it's can't feel my toes. It's a shock for just a second. But it feels second. amazing. We can't wait. <laughs> we can't wait for Iceland. Jerry, thank you so much. Thank you. And as always, you can go to our website for tickets, tea times, hotel packages. I'm just prelonging it so you can yeah. stand Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry knows what's up. I need a towel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Back to you guys in the nice warm Studio B for now. Oh, it feels nice in the sun though. And the yeah. funny thing is, okay. she's always cold, no matter yeah. what. Lauren is always cold. Oh, the ice <laughs> does feel good these days, Lauren. Thanks so much. When uh, those magical words "Iceland" were said, our ears perked up. One of my favorite memories is actually going down the ice slide with my mom and yes. Jerry Hamachek. So fun. Good times. Can't wait. It's going to be here before you know it. A few months it. away. All right, coming up on Houston Life, actress Priya Ferguson from Stranger Things. You know that little show that, I don't know, kind of blew up all over the world. There she is right there. We're going to find out why she's in Houston and where you can see her. We're going to hear all about her new movie coming to Netflix this fall as well. Houston Life will be right back. My name is Lady Applejack, and I'm a chaotic, good, half-elf rogue level 14. And I will sneak behind any monster you throw my way and stab them in the back with my poison-soaked kukri. And I'll smile as I watch them die, a slow, agonizing death. So, we gonna do this? 
or we gonna keep chit chatting like this is your mommy's book club. <laughs> she means business. That is actress Priya Ferguson as the sassy Erica Sinclair on season four of the global Netflix phenomenon Stranger Things. One of my favorites. She is one of the breakout sensations of the record breaking sci fi show. And guess what, guys? She joins us now in studio. Welcome. Hi. It's so great to meet you. You too. <laughs> Girl, I, I mean, okay, we're going to tell you why she's in Houston uh, just coming up. But first of all, when, when Stranger Things came knocking, I mean, you, you just auditioned and got the part. T tell us what happened. Okay, so when Stranger Things first, when I first got the audition for Stranger Things, I was like eight, maybe eight or nine, I think. And it was like a mock script. So I knew I was auditioning for Stranger Things and I knew I was gonna be the little sister, but it had the, the script I auditioned for had nothing to do with the plot in season two. Okay. So it was like a mock script and um, it was only supposed to be a one-time thing it, just to introduce Lucas' family. Um, this is his little sister, his mom, his dad. But they ended up bringing me back for season three so people could know more about Erica and get to learn um, who she really is, and in season four, she's a part of the gang now. Oh, it's because yeah. you're so good. So your <laughs> character, uh, as you just mentioned, Erica Sinclair, you've become a fan favorite and so popular that despite the original plans for the show, I mean, you're a big deal. What is it like, you're 15 years old now, to be part of such a great cast on a show that literally everyone around the world knows about? I'm grateful for the opportunity. It's kind of surreal. I'm kind of still getting used to it. You know, ever since season four dropped, I'm kind of getting noticed a little bit more um, than I did like in the past. Also because I kind of, I've grown up and I look more like, you know, Erica now, even though she's a girl in the eighties, but I was younger back then and still growing. Um, so it's kind of surreal. and. It's also a learning experience getting to travel different countries and taking in, you know, what they do there. It's, it's, it keeps me open minded. Right. Well, uh, where do you channel your sassiness from? That's what I love about Erica. The one liners, yes. and I mean, she is sassy. Where does that yes. come from for you? I think me and Erica, we both have, like, you know, similarities a lot. Like, she's very quit wick and you know she's kind of quick at the quit with the tongue sometimes <laughs> and I think once you get to know me a little bit more that's where you see that more so I kind of pull um, from that but she's also super smart and brilliant too so I pull from myself as well <laughs> <laughs> with that too. You're uh, in summer break technically from high school. You're also a high school student in Atlanta, Georgia. And how do you balance that? Because this fall, I understand you've got a huge movie mm -hmm. coming out, another Netflix project? Yes, um, it's a Netflix um, Halloween movie with Marlon Wayans. It's called The Curse of Bridge Hollow. So what was that like? For, I mean, I feel like you're you're into the mm -hmm. kind of the scary mm -hmm. sci fi. Yeah. What do you think about that? That's kind of, it's different for, it's different for me and it's way different from Erica. You truly see me being portrayed as a teenager in that movie and kind of um, a coming, coming of age movie, but it also has some supernatural um, things going on in that movie as well. And that's really fun. And Marlon Wayans plays my dad. Um, so that's really fun as well. Um, but with school and everything, I kind of, with that, it's it's not as hard as people may think it is because I do go to public school and I like that because it kind of keeps me grounded so I still have a regular life and I make sure to let everyone know at school I keep my personal life personal which is like my school and my work life but my work life so you know, they kind of see a different Priya. <laughs> I just want to see the note, though, that says, please excuse Priya, she's shooting a new movie for Netflix. Yeah, she'll be Somehow, back later. It all works out. Okay, you got to spill the beans. Why are you in town here in Houston? I mean, we know, but our viewers mm -hmm. might not. I am here in Houston because I am throwing the first pitch at the Astros game tomorrow. So that's going to be really fun. I'm super excited. Been working on my throws. Awesome. <laughs> We're awesome. Stranger Things night. So. Well, yeah. speaking of working on throws, here, I'm just going to step over here. We happen to have some props, Priya. Oh. If you want to jump out of your seat for a moment, why don't you take a couple of these? These are softer baseballs. Okay. Why don't you take those? We've set up a net. Here, I'm going to angle this a little bit toward you. Okay. And, uh, why don't you stand behind? Behind it like the catcher. Oh, I guess I could, huh? Here, hold this on. This is getting real. Yeah, yeah there you go. There's see. some extras. <laughs> Behind it, you want to go for my face? Put your arms okay. out, you know? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. There we go. Uh, okay. Not a I'm, natural born act. I'm right in here. Okay. 
Right in here, Priya. But she plays one oh. on TV. Hey, that was good. Okay. That was good. <laughs> I like it. The, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, that the was good. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, She's going to try one more. Okay. okay. There oh, it is, girl. There you go. The Pretty hole, close. So that's great. It was lovely to see you and to meet you. I know tomorrow at the Astros game will be fantastic. Yay. Reminder that Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 is streaming now on Netflix. And be sure to watch Volume 2 starting July 1st. How you doing? Yes, it's appointment viewing. Great job. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, are you looking for a summer getaway? Well, we're going to help you explore Fredericksburg. And America's Got Talent finalist Ketchy is joining us in studio with her latest project. It'll be great to catch up with her again. It's been a minute since we've seen Ketchy. And in the meantime, still hanging out here with Priya Ferguson, Stranger Things on Netflix, uh, just one of her many projects. And uh, you got to promise to come back and see us oh, on I Houston will. Life. I will. Please yes. do. And your family's in Pearland, right? Your, yes, your aunt? my auntie and yeah. my cousin. Hi, family. Well, thanks for. We know you're going to throw a great first pitch tomorrow at the game. Lovely to see you. Thank All right, you. that does it today on Houston Life. We're going to hand it off to Christine and Daniela in Studio A. Yeah, great to see you guys. You Have too. a wonderful evening. You too.